So Ashley's not convinced that she needs to wear a sweatshirt outside. Go find a sweatshirt and we'll go in 40 minutes, okay? Nope. It's mine. And it's dead on battery, so I need to charge it. Say hi to everyone. You have this dead? 20%, yes. Well, 18. I wait till it's dead. I know you do. You wait till it turns off. Just getting ready myself. Uh, I've already slept in a little bit. Like, we woke up at 5 a.m., struggled until about 7 a.m. to go back to sleep. Then Jason woke me up at 7.30 when he got up for work. I think I fell asleep again at like 8, and then I was startled awake at 9. And then I watched my church conference until 11 and showered and got ready and trying to convince all the kids to get their chores done. They're doing a good job, like considering. Um, but Ashley still needs to do one more thing. But we potentially have something, some exciting news uh, this morning. Also, don't mind the braided hair again today. I want curls for tomorrow. Um, Abby is taking her written test with her driving test and uh, if she passes the written test we get to schedule her driving test and then she has to wait until her birthday this summer to actually get her driver's license but um, you all know if you're regular she doesn't like any attention on her on the camera on her uh, so I it'll just be my perspective unless she wants to like hop on and say she passed or not she will definitely get an get on if she didn't pass but um, she is probably studying and getting ready right now, and then we will go and take her to her written test, and then I have to take her to work, and then I am going to buy all of Ashley's birthday supplies. She gets birthday donuts. Her teacher gave me permission to get birthday cupcakes to take to her school on Monday, which I don't know how she gave us permission because the school is not doing birthday celebrations, so I don't know what that situation is. <laughs> but we're gonna go with it. Um, and then I'm gonna get birthday balloons. And I've told Ashley, I know she's bored and I know she wants to come with me, but if she comes with me, she sees all the surprises. And she's fine with it because she's kind of dying to celebrate her birthday. She's like, can I just open one present today? And I'm like, no, this is actually like fun to like watch you squirm and want to open the presents that I like dangled underneath your nose. Um, the other person that doesn't like that is Kaylee. Kaylee doesn't like, like surprises at all, which is kind of funny because she's about to find a funny surprise in just a little while. You guys don't know about that yet, but you'll find out about it soon. Um, yeah, so let's go. It's been a while. Oh, so you just wanted us to clean our room so you could film it. No, I'm <laughs> filming it because I'm surprised you cleaned your room. Twit, turn the light off, it's too yellow. <laughs> I wanted to show that you had cleaned your room and that I'm proud of you and also that you run out of room for squishmallows. No, you don't deserve any more. Correct. Why you burn some? I mean, not burning them, but... I want to this one. So yeah, the frog is huge. Is the frog even yours or is that Chelsea's? It's mine, mm -hmm. but I don't want it anymore. It's mine. Well, then... Well, and first of all, you need to see if your friends want it and what they can buy it. One of my friends does for it. Well, you gotta figure out a price for it. Three thousand dollars. Yeah. Right. Okay. It kind of is that much, but like it's not. It's not 70. a collectible. Okay. All right. Abby is officially taking the test. If she can pass this, she'll be driving one of those to take the driving test. So we are gonna stay close because I don't know how long it'll take her to take this test. Uh, they lot they slot an hour for it, but I don't think she'll take the full hour. But I don't know if they have to stay, so we'll see. We're gonna go get you what cupcakes first, Ash. Mm -hmm. We're gonna go to the grocery store across the street. Actually, I'm gonna go to I'm gonna go to Safeway because I have discovered discovered something, and it's not good for me, but I just can't help it. I have discovered that the Easter M and M's, the peanut butter. Easter M&M eggs are by far way better than the regular peanut butter M&Ms. I yeah, well, it, but the peanut butter tastes different in the Easter ones. I don't know what it is. Um, but Target's out of them. QFC, the other grocery store um, right there, is out of them. So we're gonna go look at Safeway. But we are also like going for your birthday cupcakes. To be fair. And I certainly hope your teacher is okay with 
you bring in them on Monday. She hasn't replied back yet, but we're gonna go with it regardless. Surprise find was grapes are on sale for $1.48. And actually wanted to get some of these. She's been trying to describe what these are to me and I couldn't figure them out. But also I'm gonna get a bag for game night tonight. Glory be. I'm gonna get, I'm actually, I know this is dumb, but I'm gonna get a couple. I'm not gonna eat them. It's gonna take me a long time to eat those. I don't. I don't, I have more self-control than anyone in this family. True. True. All right, we're trying to figure out all the allergies. Yeah. These ones are nut free, so we can get a chocolate one and a vanilla one because there's a vanilla allergy, which I don't understand because there's, guaranteed there's vanilla in this. But you know that the other student has had red velvet cupcakes before. She's had, she brain red velvet to school and right. was eating it. And were they store bought or were they bought, like did she make them? Store bought. Okay, then I guarantee it had vanilla in it. So we're gonna get vanilla, cupcakes and chocolate cupcakes okay I do not get allergies I don't either I don't understand the vanilla one that was and a then, new one but that's okay yeah and then like my teacher's like oh you'll be fine your eyes are puffy I know it's okay it'll be okay all right so Ashley <laughs> I know we're buying a lot of crap tonight we're actually gonna buy these uh, for our game night so I'm gonna do cookies some grapes and some chips but you just made a decision for your birthday Replacement for donuts. You normally do donuts stacked up for your birthday breakfast. But what did you just discover? That you Twinkies instead. <laughs> Don't know why. She's chosen to stack up Twinkies. This is really clear. Are you sure? Yes. All right. Twinkies it is. Okay. You can actually eat one before school. Oh, it's a Sunday. I was gonna say, you can actually save one for school on Monday, but you'll have a lot of snacks on uh, on school on Monday. But we can save a few for you. How about that? Well, so I asked for a lot of candy for my birthday. You did ask for a lot of candy for your birthday, so you probably won't have access to that candy right away. We can sit you down here. We were heading to the dollar store really quick, um, but just got a message from Abby that she's all done. It's only been 26 minutes. <laughs> So we're gonna head back over and get her and then um, go to the dollar store and then she has to go to work. Um, I'm glad we it, it didn't take that long because she was worried she wasn't gonna get to work in time. She told her boss, she's like, I don't know if I'm gonna be to work in time, but they have to be accommodating. I mean, it's like they literally only have one time slot every Wednesday and every Saturday for these tests. So <laughs> every kid, this anyway. So we're gonna go and pick her up really quick. All right, I had to step out of the car because Can I open these. I uh, yeah, I was eating grapes and one dropped below the um, gas pedal. Okay, she does not want to be on camera. Hang on. Okay, so drum roll. Did she pass her written driving test? Everyone passes. So <laughs> everyone passes. That's what you said. <laughs> I don't you, know how I had to take that test four times to pass it. I'm sorry, but. Well, I'm bleeping that name out because we don't want to throw her <laughs> under the bus. <laughs> One of her friends did not pass that test three times. So to be fair, not everyone does pass it. But congratulations. Now I can go home and schedule you for the driving test. And I pray that, do you remember his in, that instructor's name? Well, it's not the same instructor. Okay, not perfect. We'll get a new instructor for her actual driving test and then she'll be done. And then it's a waiting game, but that'll be fine. All right, Ashley is seeing all my surprises. Those are the balloons that I just got. Her and Abby are in the dollar store still. They actually need to hurry again. I need to get Abby to work. So Ashley is seeing all of her surprises and the guy that put, I put the order in with didn't pull my balloons the day that I ordered them the day they said that they had those balloons in stock and so now didn't actually get the colors I wanted but that's okay so oh sorry okay I just made the most yummy lunch lunch aka it's four o'clock <laughs> it's so good let me show you I didn't have any bread because we're gonna go to Costco on Monday um so I had one hoagie bun left I toasted it, put a little mayonnaise on it, and then I took a can of chicken and I added mayonnaise and mustard to it. It's plenty salty, so I didn't add any more salt or pepper. 
Then I added some grapes that I just got and some peppers and I added like every single color, the red, orange, and yellow. And I was gonna try and like eat this just like a regular sandwich, like fold it in half and try and eat it. And I was like, nope, I'm just gonna be civilized and we're gonna use a fork. <laughs> And I added some more grapes. I absolutely love chicken and grapes. I don't know why the flavor tastes so good to me. And I don't know why I don't think of this more often. But this is a great source of protein for me. And I'm excited to eat it. And not feel guilty about the lunch choice. Well, this is the face of a girl who got a solid Saturday nap. <laughs> no one bothered me. In fact, I even heard Kaylee and Jacob whispering in the kitchen at one point which was very nice. I was starting to wake up, but it was very nice that they were very polite. Um, but I got a good nap, and he got to work a little bit extra, even though he's super tired, and then went and picked Abby up from work. Yeah, but I want to get your reaction. Abby took her written test today. Oh, for driving? Uh-huh. Okay. What do you think happened? She got 95%. I don't know what percent she got. Oh, uh, passed. Yes. Yeah, she's a studier. Yeah, she is. She is. And they should do well on it. So she passed her written test, which is fabulous news. So on Monday, I'll be able to schedule her driving test. Oh, okay, she does have the driving test. Yeah, it just doesn't open up to schedule it until you pass the written. Okay, I knew there was something like that. Yeah. Like, yeah. So they are actually all at home. We are headed to game night. I was able to get my snacks. Are they right there in right the back? back yeah. They're all at home. We're going to go and hang out with our friends for the evening and tomorrow we get to sleep in and if we dang wake up at five in the morning again for the past three uh, mornings we've woken up at four or five in the it morning it hasn't even been from you making noise no or you snoring <laughs> no that's you from like midnight till 3 a.m no, i actually woke up i had a dream and it they've yeah. been full of energy they haven't been bad yeah i mean they're just full of energy and i like kind of wake up from it and then it's like oh suck I know, it like w wakes your mind up. Yeah, I'm just laying there and I'm like, please tell yeah. me it's not like five in the morning. Yeah, it's five in the morning. Last night it was three. Yeah, like he'll blow his nose and I'll be like, please don't tell me it's 3 a.m. blow my nose. No, I'm just saying like you'll get up and I'll be like, why is he awake? Why is he awake? It's not even light outside. And I'll look at my watch or my phone and I'm like, well, at least we have time to go back to sleep. But anyway, I needed that nap today. Well, we get to sleep in tomorrow. Yes, we can sleep in and we are going to go celebrate. Well, we get to celebrate Ashley's birthday tomorrow. It is her official birthday. It's just that no one's going to be all home at the same time at any given point in the day until about 7 p.m. <laughs> so it's unfortunate. Um, Ashley's like, everyone needs to wake up by 9 a.m. So that we but can Kaylee's go. But Kaylee we leaves. We have to wake up at like 7.30. No, Kaylee leaves her work at 9.45. So she needs us to be awake by 9 in order to open presents for Chelsea for Ashley before she leaves and I'm like well if it's been like an, every other morning we'll be awake but and Chelsea will be awake it's just convincing Abby to wake up so we'll see when we actually open Ashley's presents we'll probably just let her do it without Kaylee because then we're gonna be busy with family the rest of the day and we'll bring you along for her birthday and see how it turns out so we're gonna sign off with you guys tonight and go and have fun Hope you guys are doing good and like I've said for the past couple of weeks <laughs> once birthdays start countdown begins so stay tuned we are headed to Hawaii soon but I got to get these birthdays done first <laughs> so it's right around the corner you guys our countdown is officially on we're very excited to go so take care we'll see you